I have z to the fourth power raised to the sixth power. So the power rule is when we have an exponent raised to another exponent, and the rule is we can simply multiply those powers together. Now to show you for the first problem why that works, when we have z to the fourth raised to the sixth, that means we've got z to the fourth times itself six times. So that's 4, 5, and 6. Now, if you broke these down even further, each z to the fourth would be a set of four z's multiplied, right? You'd have z times z times z times z. Now, without writing this out the whole time, because that's a whole lot of z's, notice I have six groups of four z's. So six times four means I would have 24 z's in my list. So that should be z to the 24th power. Now, you don't need to write it out like that every single time, because if you notice, four times six gives me 24. And that's our shortcut rule. The power rule tells us when you have an exponent raised to a power, you can simply multiply the exponents together and keeping the same base, so my base stays a z, four times six gives me a new power of 24. So that would be z to the 24th power. g to the fifth power raised to the eighth power. Well, again, I can use my power rule since I have an exponent raised to an exponent. So my base, g, is gonna stay the same and for my new exponent, I'm going to multiply 5 times 8, which is 40. So that gives me g to the 40th power. d to the third power raised to the ninth power. When you have the exponent raised to an exponent, that's when we use our power rule. The base, d, stays the same, and I multiply the exponents. 3 times 9 gives me an exponent of 27. Okay, d squared raised to the seventh power. I'm gonna keep my base the same, d. And my exponents, two times seven, 14. g to the sixth raised to the seventh. Okay, so my base stays the same at g. And then I'm gonna multiply my exponents together, six times seven, that gives me 42. Oops, goes in the exponent area. R to the fifth raised to the fifth. Okay, so we're gonna use power rule. Base of R stays the same. Since I'm raising a power to a power, I multiply, and five times five gives me a new exponent of 25. E to the eighth raised to the sixth. So my base stays the same at E, and when I apply my power to power rule, I multiply eight times six, which gives me a new exponent of 48. A to the second squared. Okay, so my base of A stays the same. Multiplying my exponents two times two gives me an exponent of four. And to the third raised to the second well, remember the base stays the same, so I'm gonna keep my base as n, and three times two gives me a power of six. So this would be n to the sixth power. <laughs>